I'm sure that there are artists who have an idea in their head and they can go directly to their studio and create that exact thing. But I tend to have this idea in my head and I come down to the studio and I start working on that idea and then it goes in a completely different direction. When I try too hard to get the essence of that imaginary idea out, I end up really missing the mark. By the days that I just let the flow happen, I get closer and closer to a piece that I love. Today was one of those days where I came down with an idea. I wanted to do something simple, a little bit of lettering, something in like, you know, just clean. And what happened was completely different. I ended up with a piece like this. It's layered, changed somehow. And I'm okay with that. I, I loved the process of letting go into this piece, letting it become what it would become instead of really trying to force it into what I thought it might be. There's a strange balance as an artist between creating just for the sake of creating and creating to sell. And I think that more often than not, when I create just for the sake of creating, I end up with a much better piece and it's more likely to sell. So we go through this sort of tension of, I need to create things that people will like, but at the same time, I know what I like. And I know that if I just let go, that I'll stop at the moment in which I love the piece that I've created. And I think that that's what happened here. There was a little bit of flow that happened in standing it up that was unintentional, but still made it part of the flowing without judgment, which incidentally is the name of the piece. I decided that pretty early on and realized, hey, you're not flowing. Why don't you just let it go? And as soon as I let it go, that's when the magic started. I started beginning to put layers on. I started to just seeing what would happen if I mixed this with that and how they would play together on the palette knives. And that's such a fun process. I hesitated in putting a definition behind my work and discussing like we are now what it meant. But at the end of the day, I do have feelings about them and they are, you know, my pieces and part of who I am. So I did want to share this with you. And so I appreciate you listening. I hope you enjoyed watching a bit of the process. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do that below. And if you'd like to sign up for my newsletter, there's also a link in the, in the, in the bio. So we'll see you again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.